Can you believe it? We're making One Land Spy even faster and pauper using a card from Exodus, Calling the Weak. Let's go check it out. How do you make the fastest deck in Pauper even faster? Well, for starters, you reduce the amount of mana that it needs to win the game. So in One Land Spy, traditionally, you need roughly six to seven mana because you need to play your Balustrade Spy, which costs four mana, and then have creatures to unearth like Dregscape Zombie. Well, in the build that we're playing today, we're playing Calling the Week, a one black instant from Exodus. As an additional cost, you sacrifice a creature and add four black mana. That's weird. Balustrade Spy costs for a black mana. Well, if we need creatures, we have Phyrexian Walker, Shield Sphere, and Ornithopter that sacrifice the Culling the Weak. But also, if you have a bunch of these zero mana creatures, you don't need to unearth Dregscape Zombie to cast Dread Return. You only need four black mana. So we're reducing the amount of mana we need to win the game, which should theoretically make this deck even better. That's what we're testing out today. So we're using Land Grant, Abundant Harvest, and then Troll of Khazad Doom to search out our one land in the deck, Haunted Mire, play the Spy, play a couple zeros, cast Dread Return for a lot left giant, and deal our opponent 30 damage. That is the game plan. That's what we're doing in this video today. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in match number one. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to round number one. We're on the draw and I don't have a spy effect here. I do have a way to search the land out, but I think that this hand is just a mulligan. Okay, well, this hand just needs a spy. I already have the land. I think it's probably better than going to five, so I'll keep this. We'll bottom the troll and let's see what our opponent's up to. Ancient Den, so likely an All That Glitters deck, and then Thraben Inspector. Come on, deck. Let's see our Balustrade Spy. Another Simeon Spear Guide will pass the turn. Okay, so this looks like Boros. It's interesting to see this land in the deck. They might not be a Glitter deck, but my hunch is that they are. All right, we're a, we have eight hits that win us the game at this point. We just need to draw one. Our opponent plays a Crag, another Thraven Inspector, and now we'll take two. I mean, they're not really doing a whole lot right now, so it looks like we're going to get some draw steps, but I prefer if we drew one faster. There we go. Destroy the evidence. So let's do some counting. Uh, we have three mana from Simeon Spirit Guides, a Lotus Petal, so that's four mana, five mana with the Haunted Mire. We have... Okay, so I guess the downside here is I only have two creatures that unearth. So instead of rushing into a, a win here and possibly losing to Lightning Bolt, I'm going to pass. Um, because we only have two unearth creatures, so I need another creature if I want to win. Because if I sacrifice the Walker to Calling the Weak, then I don't, only have two creatures to begin with. So I actually can't go any faster. And now we're taking eight, so the pressure's on me to move. Okay, I'm at nine. Let's see what our draw step is. Another creature that was great. All right, so Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide. Cabal Ritual. And now we will play Ornithopter. Play Phyrexian Walker. And now we'll destroy the evidence on our Haunted Mire. Hopefully they try to Lightning Bolt here. Because then I could call in the weak. But if they wait for me to unearth, we actually can't win. And it looks like they're going to move now. This is perfect. They fell into my trap. So I will now cast Calling the Weak, sacrificing the Ornithopter. And now we can win. If they were a little bit more patient, I would have lost this. And now we'll destroy the evidence. We'll bring back the Dreadscape Zombies. I made a choice today to only play two Unearth creatures. Let's see if it ends up biting me in the butt. If it does, you could always cut the third Ornithopter for another uh, Unearth creature of your choice. 
So we're going to cast Dread Return targeting the Lotleth Giant. Actually, I should go to combat first. We'll attack for four. They'll go to 18. I don't know how many creatures are out of the deck, which is why I want to go to combat first. And then we'll Dread Return the Giant. Okay. So we've successfully won game number one. Turbo Spy. We likely want to bring in Natural States for Relics. Board out a couple copies of Destroy the Evidence. Or you could keep them all in and just board out Street Wraiths. I mean, Street Wraith in this deck is really just like Cabal Ritual fil uh, Filler. Or, I mean, that's really all it is. Like, it also makes it so you're playing a 56 card deck. But you're not playing anything like uh, Songs of the Damned anymore. So it, it's not that impactful. It does mean we only have 26 creatures. Maybe I'll try like two Street Wraith to destroy the evidence. All right, so we've opened up a hand with no spy, no way to search out a land. We'll send this back. Okay, so we have a couple ways here to find a land and a spy effect, but we're lacking a ritual. I'm going to bottom the troll and then we'll keep this. We also have an answer to relic in our hand, so this is a pretty good six card hand. I just have to hope that my draw effects end up being fast mana and not a dead copy of land grant we'll play the haunted mire past the turn they play land and a glint hawk they pick up the clue and now they're going to attack for one ouch i go to 19. we need more mana shield sphere is not terrible let's find a calling the weak we'll cast abundant harvest and we will say non-land we find another copy of natural state a little awkward we'll pass the turn they play Lembas, sure, and another copy of Glint Hawk. They pick up their artifact, and now they'll attack for three, and I'll fall to 16 life. We just need to find some mana here. Ornithopter. I mean, I don't mind drawing zero mana creatures, because it does mean we need less mana to win eventually, but right now it's not helping. With two natural states, I think I'm going to destroy the Ancient Den, because if we draw Cabal Ritual, I want more cards in the graveyard anyway. They replay the Lembas. So they'll attack for five this turn and I'll fall to 11. So we are running out of time. I could play out these artifacts early as blockers. My fear is if they get removed, it actually hurts me more in the long run. So I'm not inclined to play them out too soon. Dark Ritual. So I believe now we're a single mana away from victory or a creature away from victory. I'm going to go to clean up. And we'll discard the land grant. They play a synthesizer. Okay. They reveal another copy of experimental synthesizer. And now a novice inspector. Okay. So they're going to attack for five here. Which brings me to six. And then they have six damage on board. So I am dead next turn. You left back Thraben inspector. Maybe for haste off of the zombies. So they have lethal on board. I think I'm going to natural state just because I'd rather have another card in the graveyard. So we'll destroy the clue. Any mana or zero mana creature wins here. That does it. All right, so exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Play Dark Ritual. We'll play Shield Sphere. Ornithopter. Calling the weak, sacrificing the Ornithopter. Lotus Petal. Destroy the evidence on my Haunted Mire. And now we'll play Dregscape Zombie. And another zombie. Find our dread return. It's way down here. And now we look for Lotleth Giant, wherever that might be. There it is. All right, target the giant. And it entered the battlefield, so that's going to be the first match. Boom, 1 0. See you in match number two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. On the draw for the second match, and we've opened up a terrific hand we will keep. So I need to draw some zero mana creatures, but other than that, this hand is spectacular. Contaminated Aquifer, so we're facing a blue deck. I don't love that as much. All right, so we'll play Lotus Petal and Abundant Harvest. We'll say land. 
Play the Haunted Mire, pass the turn. If our opponent taps out and we draw a zero mana creature, we have a win. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I think we actually might be one mana short. Our opponent cycles a Lorien Revealed. They grab another Aquifer, so... Let's see what we can do here. Dark Ritual, not a bad draw. So, hold on. Dark Ritual into Dragscape Zombie. Calling the Week is four. Vulture's five. I'm still one mana short. Hold on. Uh, Dark Ritual into Dragscape plus Calling the Week is three cards in Graveyard. Yeah, that's still not Threshold. All right, I have to Abundant Harvest here. I guess if I hit Lotus Petal, there's a chance. Maybe I'm still wrong. Maybe I end up still being one card short. Or would that be perfect? It might be perfect, actually. So Lotus Petal. And I missed. All right, we'll pass. I think Lotus Petal actually would have done it. So Lotus Petal would have been card number four. Dark Ritual is card five. Zombie is six. Calling the Week is seven. Cabal Ritual would have been... So if we had hit exactly one of our three remaining Lotus Petals, that was a turn two win. Our opponent cycles another Lorien Revealed. They play Basic Island and the Archaeologist. So it looks like we're going to get to have a turn three. And there's Ornithopter, Dark Ritual. We'll play the Ornithopter. Ornithopter Resolves will cast Calling the Week. And now we will play Balustrade Spy. Target myself. None of our creatures die to Snuff Out, so I don't have to worry about that here. We'll play Cabal Ritual. We'll hardcast a Dregscape Zombie, unearth a zombie, and then Dread Return on the Giant. There it is, so now we'll click. Sweet. So far, I mean, we're doing okay so far. I don't want to jinx it. But it does seem like maybe we want one more unearth creature in the deck at the moment. I believe we want to bring in Duress. And I think we just swap it out with Street Wraith, or maybe we'll split two Street Wraith to destroy the evidence. We'll try this. A lot of the Demir Terror decks aren't running Nile Spell Bombs anymore, uh, so I am not inclined to board in Natural State. A lot of them have, uh, what is it called? Rotting Something. It's a one mana black instant that exiles a card from a graveyard, and then they get a 2 2, and it flashes back, which is actually really good against our deck because if I'm trying to duress them, they can still just flash it back, and I can't play around it. So, not ideal. I'll say that. Okay, so this hand is ready to party. All we need is a, a spy effect. I'm going to keep this. Like, this hand is actually insane if we draw a spy. Turn one island. Let's play land grant. Grab the haunted mire. Play it and pass. We're in a spy waiting room. They play a second island. And they just pass. They're afraid to tap out. Let's play abundant harvest. Non land. The troll of Kazadoom. We'll play Lotus Petal and pass the turn. We could theoretically look at hard casting the troll and just seeing if we can win with beatdown with the troll. They play Brainstorm. I guess I could have played Dark Ritual here, but I would have lost my Lotus Petal. So I don't really want to make that play. They Mental Note, getting rid of Deep Analysis and a Basic Island. They cycle Lurian Revealed. They grab the Aquifer. Okay, they do not have Counterspell open. If we can draw into one of our six remaining spy effects, or a Lotus Petal. Alright, we'll play Duress here. Let's see what they're working with. They cycle another copy of Lorien Revealed. And their hand is all creatures. Okay, so I don't think I want to play out the Troll, because Troll is not going to race this. We have to pass. They play Thought Scour. They mill a di uh, Dispel. And a Gurmag Angler, Tolarian Terror, Basic Island. They play a Terror, and now they can play a, the Gurmag Angler in their hand, and I am running out of time. This would be a perfect turn to draw one of those spy effects, but if we don't, that's probably the game. 15 power on the board. Let's go. Come on, Doc. No, he draws zero mana creature. I think the window has shut. I'll discard the troll and pass. They play the Archaeologist, and they find Rotten Reunion. I can't beat this card. This was the card I was talking about. I would have to have the Troll in hand in order to beat it and hardcast it. So, unfortunately, it looks like we lost game number two. We had several draw steps to find our Spy Effect. It just never happened. Okay, let's go to game three. 
And seeing how that shook out, maybe I want to bring in Destroy the Evidence and we'll board out the Street Raids. Or if I can't beat Rotten Reunion, why don't I just bring in Haunting Misery? That's another choice here. We'll board out to Destroy the Evidence and maybe one zero drop creature. Okay, we'll try this. On the play. So once again, this hand doesn't have a spy. Double land grant is a mulligan. I think we should try six. Okay. This hand doesn't actually function, but we're going to keep it. So I need to find like a land grant or something to convert this abundant harvest into black mana. But I think that this hand is still a keep. Opponent with a hard mulligan to four. The hand that can't actually cast its spells versus the mulligan to four. Let's see how this goes. They play Ice Tunnel. Destroy the evidence is not what I wanted. And they're going to hold open Counterspell here. Okay. We draw another zero mana creature. I will play out an Ornithopter rather than discard. They Thought Scour and they hit Rotted Reunion and a Counterspell. So that was actually pretty good for them. Mental Note. Builds over a Terror. They play an Island. And they pass. We draw another creature. Play Ornithopter and pass the turn. Another Thought Scour and the Incept mills another copy of Telerian Terror. They crawl from the cellar to return Terror. And they play it. Alongside another Mental Note. And we're just drawing blanks. This is very disappointing. I'll discard the zombie. Five draw steps and none of them were what we wanted. We'll take five here. They brainstorm and play a land. The other zombie. Come on, Doc. I mean, I really do think our hand was a keep, but it's not looking great for us here. They play another brainstorm. I just don't see how we're going to come back. Like, our opponent would have to very foolishly tap out, and we'd have to draw while in consecutive turns. Well, go to 10. The second copy of Terror. We draw a Lotus Petal, but I'm sure they have Counterspell mana open by now. Play the Lotus Petal, and we'll cast an Abundant Harvest. They allow it to resolve, we'll say land, play the land. We'll play out another walker in case they try to remove both of our creatures. They snuff out, okay. There's another snuff out. So now I have to block one. We just can't beat the Rotted Reunion that's in their graveyard. It doesn't even matter what's in their hand right now. We'll exile some Spirit Guide. Play Cabal Ritual and Counter Spell. That's the match. Our draws in the post board games did not come together, unfortunately, and we are now one and one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. On the play for match number three. Unfortunately, no, we'll send this back. This hand seems reasonable. Keep this. Bottom one of the creatures. Play Lotus Petal. I'm going to cycle Street Wraith first in case I draw into something that gets a land that... Oh, no. Ah, that was bad. Okay, well, Abundant Harvest. So now we need more mana in order to win. I think it was actually better to cycle first. It, just a little bit of egg on my face. I'm not playing Rotting Rats today. It's a card that I haven't liked the last few times that I've played this deck. And this is obviously the spot where you do want it. But I've had more success without it. So another thing we can do is just build up to a full hand and then discard the Dread Return. Okay, our opponent's playing a creature here with Surveil too. And then they cycle a Troll of Kazadoom for a Scrapwork Mutt. Maybe this is Dredge? Street Wraith? I'm just going to pass the turn for now. They exhume. So this is a pretty fast clock. And we drew the giant. <laughs> oh, I can't catch a break. Yeah. We will pass the turn. So now we have to go to draw step twice. Rotting Rats wouldn't even fix this. They play a Seder Wayfinder, sure. Yeah, the, we're definitely facing Dredge here. They attack for a 6, I'll go to 12. 
We drew another card that does not matter. Okay, I will discard the giant. My draws so far have not been good. This is really the downside of this build, in my opinion, because with the normal Jund list that I play, we have more cards that are live, like Phyrexian Walker doesn't do anything, right? Where in that other build, we have Faithless Lootings and stuff like that. They play Prowler. They unearth the Scrapwork Mutt. Okay. Discards another copy of Gnaw to the Bone. The Lotloth Giant. I go to five, and then they're going to attack out, and we lose. So our draw steps were just terrible in this game number one. I feel like this is a matchup that we should probably typically win, but our deck did not cooperate. We'll bring in some copies of Fairy Macabre, and we'll board down on Street Wreath, and we'll set out one Destroy the Evidence. Let's try that again. We're on the play. So... We have a way to thin our deck for the land, and we just have to draw into a spy. Ah, classic spot, right? I think we're going to mulligan. Like, this hand, it's not bad, but I think you're supposed to send it back on seven. Like, I'd probably keep it on six. We'll keep this and bottom the giant. All right, so the giant goes on the bottom, and we are ready to begin. We'll play Lotus Petal, and then Abundant Harvest for our one land. Play it and pass. They cycle a Troll of Kazadoom. We find a Cabal Ritual. All right, Abundant Harvest for non-land. We find another Abundant Harvest. Pass. Dregscape Zombie. Not really what we wanted here. And now they're going to cycle Generous End. Non-land. We find Ornithopter. Seder Wayfinder. Okay. Exhume Scrapwork Mutt, Lothloth Giant, and then they put a land to hand. Another Ornithopter will pass. Stinkweed Imp, you got it. You draw another Dark Ritual. I'm going to discard the zombie here. They play Seder Wayfinder. They hit Dread Return that time. They're now going to try to bring back the giant. We'll exile the giant and Stinkweed Imp. They exhume. That's fine. We'll bring back the Fairy Macabre. Come on, Doc, please. No such luck. Attack for two, pass the turn. They scrapwork mutt. So they'll hit me for eight here and I'll go to 11. And they play a Mire Triton. They hit another Dread Return. Okay, our time is running out. And a Lotleth Giant. Wow! The trigger hit Giant. So they can attack for eight, Dread Return the Giant, and I think that's going to be enough. What a turn. Apparently I go to three, so we get one draw step here. <sighs> wow, Doc. Okay, so we ended up losing. This is disappointing. I feel like we've hit the low end of variance a couple times. 25% of the way through our deck, zero spy effects, uh, even with a few redraws. So disappointed, but there's still a couple matches left to go. Let's try to win those. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Alright, we're on the draw for the fourth match. I've opened up the Giant, which means that we probably want to mulligan this hand considering we also have a Dregscape Zombie. And then we only have one land and there's two ways to search it out, so we'll go to six. This hand is actually fantastic. Keep. Bottom the Giant. Basic Mountain. Into Goblin Blast Runner. We find Land Grant. We'll play it. Play the Haunted Mire. Pass the turn. Another Blast Runner. Mountain. And Voldaren Epicure. They attack for one. I'll go to 18. Cabal Ritual. So... We have to sacrifice the Shield Sphere using the Mire, so that's four mana for the Spy. And then we have Cabal Ritual and Lotus Petal, so that's exactly enough. If I cycle the Street Wreath, I could possibly draw into something I don't want to. But I don't think I'm supposed to do that. All right, and we will Culling the Weak, sacrificing the Shield Sphere, Cabal Ritual, and now we Spy, target myself, unearth a Zombie, and another Zombie, Dread return on the giant. That's how we do. All right. Now for a post board game. I think I'm going to make a choice here and we'll see if it bites me in the butt. We're on the draw. A lot of these red decks now play two Relic of Progenitus and that's it. 
So we could board in a bunch of natural states to beat it, or what we can do is just resubmit and try to be the faster deck here. And I feel like that's probably better than sideboarding in this matchup. So we're going to try this out. I don't think I've learned my lesson. I'm going to keep this. I mean, this hand just has everything. If we can rip a spy effect, we have eight of them in the deck. We have two draws between Street Wraith and our draw step, and then our second turn, which is ideally the turn we win. So we have three looks at one of eight cards by turn two to have a turn two win. I think we keep that. Goblin Blast Runner. Come on, deck. Pretty please. Or we could just draw the worst card in our deck. Pass. They play Synthesizer. And Reveal Great Furnace. A very good hit for them here. Seal of Fire. They deal me two and now they're attacking for three. I'll fall to 15. Ornithopter. I'm just going to draw and discard the Giant. Goblin Tomb Raider. They play a land. They have one card in hand here. They swing. I go to 12. We'll go to 10 and cycle Street Wraith. Troll. I could try to hard cast troll. I just don't think it's like a winning line. So this thing can gain menace. I'll play Phyrexian Walker because that can block the Tomb Raider. And then we'll pass the turn. They play land. They can use the synthesizer here to make a 2-2 two, two plus get, it, get a card. And their last card was Galvanic Blast. I guess it saved 4 damage at my face. They could still use synthesizer to pump up their blast runner and they don't. I'm at 7. We find Dregscape Zombie. Play Ornithopter. We can exile Simeon Spirit Guide and play the Dregscape here. Pass the turn. And now they'll use the Synthesizer. And they find Galvanic Blast. Wow. That hurts. And I have to put both in front of the Blast Runner. Or else I'm just dead on board. So they can blast me to one. Oh, they don't have Metalcraft. Okay. But we did not draw it anyway. I guess I can play a troll here. That's a choice. Well, calling the weak, sacrificing the zombie. Exile spirit guide and we'll play the troll. And that's lethal. Game three. The plan of Moli or hoping to draw a spy effect has not gone well for us. I will say that. It feels rather embarrassing. Even with eight of them in the deck, it just feels like maybe you need to mulligan to them in this build. I'm not sure. So this has the land and a spy effect. My problem here is we have no mana. I'm going to send this back. Think that this is a keep and you're supposed to bottom destroy the evidence. All right, destroy the evidence is going on the bottom. Well, cycle street wraith, we go to 18. Cycle street wraith, we go to 16. And we found our land. That's pretty nice. All right, so button and harvest. We'll say land, play the Haunted Mire past the turn. Kadaltha Rebirth. Okay. The Ball Ritual. That's actually pretty good for us. So I could play the Dregscape and then we have a win next turn. Assuming that the Dregscape lives. Pass. Mountain. No blocks. So they're holding open Lightning Bolt, which I would actually lose to here because we're only playing two unearthed creatures. Swing. Okay, so I'm glad I attacked first, and we'll pass. Land number two, Bushwhacker. So now they have lethal next turn. I need to draw a zero mana creature. We have 11 of them, or something that allows me to cast Cabal Ritual. Another spy isn't going to do it. Ugh. Magic the Gathering does not like me. Okay, we have to pass. So technically our opponent doesn't have lethal. They can put me to one. But they have four cards and they're playing red. So the assumption is that one of those cards deals damage. We'll go to one here. Implementation of combustion for Xaxes. Okay, that's going to do it. Womp womp. All right, so our deck kind of failed us there. It looks like we also didn't have that draw coming either. So we are now one and three. We started off hot and now uh, not looking so great. Let's see if we can win the fifth match. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com decklist.
the final round and we're on the draw we've opened up a hand with triple spy effect and no initial mana source we will send that one back all right this actually seems pretty good to me we will keep and abundant harvest can go on the bottom actually maybe harvest is better than the zombie ice tunnel i don't like that we'll play lotus petal and we will cycle the troll play haunted mire past the turn they play Contaminated Aquifer and pass. We draw another Phyrexian Walker. Let's play Abundant Harvest. Non-land. Simian Spirit Guide. So the jig is likely up. They probably know what we're playing. If they tap out, I have a win. But that's a big if. Land number three. And they're just going to keep open mana. We'll pass. On the end step, they cycle Lurian Revealed. Yeah, this opponent knows better than to tap out. We're in trouble. Land Grant, that doesn't do us any good. We'll cycle Sri Wraith. And we'll discard a Land Grant here. Land drops for days. The Ball Ritual. I'm going to play Phyrexian Walker here. I think one of the few ways we could get them is by playing a Dark Ritual later and having them counter it. And then I combo off. But I need them to tap lower for this plan to work. So I don't want to jam into five open mana. Another land grant. We will pass. They cast down my Phyrexian Walker. And a Brainstorm. Mental note. They get rid of Snuff Out and Unexpected Fangs. And there's a Terror. Alright, so they only have one counter spell open. Now is the time where we need to try to trick them into a win. Dark Ritual. Spell Pierce. I cannot pay for that. So if they have another spell pierce, we lose. Lotus Petal. Shield Sphere. We will calling the weak, sacrificing the Shield Sphere. Actually, I just remembered, I'm only playing two unearth creatures. We actually don't have a win here. Ah. Oh. All right, this list is uh, coming to bite me here. For what it's worth, no, I would have enough mana to unearth three. I would. Because we have the Spirit Guide. I'm... I don't think they're going to concede to the destroy the evidence, so oh, I'd rather not show them my deck. I can't believe I did that. That was bad. All right, we'll board in Duress, and I'm just going to board out Forestry Wraith after struggling to draw Spy Effects the entire league. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted Haunting Misery. Board out one Ornithopter and two destroy the evidence. Yeah, don't ever play two Dragscape Zombie. It is not enough. That has been pretty apparent this league. I thought with 13 zero mana, I'm sorry, 11 zero mana creatures that it would be enough. And it just hasn't really played out that way. On the play for game two. Nope. This is really awkward. This hand is basically a mulligan to five. So you have, you bottom the giant and then you can play land grant, but then you have a troll of Kazudum that does nothing. So I think you're actually better actually going to five. All right, we'll keep this bottom the troll and lotus petal play land grant grab the haunted mire pass the turn and we drew a troll aye, aye, aye. abundant harvest they counter it we'll pass they play an island and they're passing the turn we draw another troll yeah things are not looking good for the home team okay we draw a third troll <laughs> why me why are you like this deck uh, I feel like Magic Online today was like, Bryant, we're not giving you wins. You're just have to, you're going to have to accept this uh, because that's how it's felt. I do think that some of our deck building choices have also cost me. So that is a big part of this. I don't want to seem like it's all luck. Like I chose to only play uh, two on Earth creatures, for example. But there's also the fact that this build has more blank cards in it because you are playing 11 zero mana creatures and that's not free. So at the end of this league, I'm going to show you what I would actually recommend. We discard a troll and pass. They hard cast a deep analysis. That is a sign of strength. But we're just going to keep on passing. We can't do anything here. They play brainstorm and then thought scour. So they mill, they snuff out and another deep analysis. They play Tolarian tear with, you know, four blue mana, which does represent a pair of counter spells. We will go to cleanup. I'm so far away from being able to win this game. They attack for 5, we'll fall to 15. They deep analysis. 
and Gurmag Angler. I will attempt a duress. Counterspell, counterspell, dispel. Okay. We'll pass the turn. I mean, I can't beat their hand, but we might as well see what our next draw step is. They play a Brainstorm. Cycle Lorian Revealed. Flashback another deep analysis. They've looked at a lot of cards this turn. We draw a land grant. That is not going to get the job done. So unfortunately, we finished this league one and four. We did not even get half of our entry fee back. And looking at the deck list, I think that two Drugscape Zombie was a huge mistake. Don't do that. Cut the third Ornithopter. Play three Drugscapes. Don't make the same mistake I did if you even choose to play this. So this would not be what I would recommend. This has been in my Magic Online account for three months or so. And I've thought a lot about this list, and I feel like this is probably the list that I would actually play if I were to try to play this deck competitively. I like Faithless Looting. I, I'm not a big fan of Rotting Rats. In fact, I feel like that card is actually kind of terrible. And Faithless Looting allows you to play cards that dig for value straight spire destroy the evidence it also fixes hands where you draw too many of them and then can't cast your spells it puts the dregscape zombies the dread return and lala giant to the graveyard so i really enjoy those aspects uh but realistically you can only cast it off simian spirit guide wild cantor or tinder wall so i've thought a lot about swapping the wooded ridge line and the haunted mire but there's a chain of things that you have to change in order to make that work. You need four Wild Cantor, you need Mana Morphos, and obviously all of those things take up slots. So where are they coming from, right? And all of a sudden you have a deck that maybe doesn't function that well. So I am good with Faithless Looting being off of Simeon Spirit Guide or Wild Cantors or whatever. Um, you could choose to not play Street Wraith, but then you're down to 22 creatures. So if your opponent just gains a little bit of life, uh, or if you draw too many Simeon Spirit Guides, you can't win. So I think 26 is already on the low end for your creature count. You probably don't want to go any lower. And these are just, it's a, it's a balancing act. It really is. But I think that this list in front of you is what I would actually play. And I'm sorry today's league didn't go any better, but I think it was to show you that speed isn't everything. We had a faster list. We still lost a lot of games. I think the Typical list in front of you would win more matches than what we played today. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and maybe I'll play this in a future video. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day, and as always, keep storming. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. If you're looking for more sweet combo content, we have tons of it over at theepicstorm.com, where you can find matchup guides, play by play, and storm puzzles featuring a monthly combo expert. You're going to love what we have over there.